Do you ever feel the pressure of sticking to the time limit during your speeches that you're going to go over your allotted time? You're not alone. Stick around because I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can become a pro at overcoming these problems. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Marie Jose from Powerful Communication, where I help you to become a confident and effective speaker. Today I'm diving into a common problem that many of us have. The fear of time constraints, whether it be not enough or fearing that we don't have enough to say, or if that we have too many things to say. These concerns can really throw us off our game. But don't worry, I've got some great tips to help you overcome this problem. Let's start with the fear of not having enough to say. Some people worry that they don't have enough to say, so they start rambling on and on about topics that are irrelevant to the main theme. Here are a few tactics that can help you overcome this problem. First, structure your speech with a clear introduction, body, and conclusion. In your conclusion, just like the word says, you introduce what you're going to talk about. In your body, you're going to explain what you said in your introduction by using some main ideas, two or three usually are enough, and then you have sub points to support your ideas. Also, you can come up with anecdotes or examples or statistics, whatever you need to support your ideas. Finally, you have con the conclusion. Many people think that it is a repetition of everything that's been said in the body, but that's not necessary. You can summarize if you want to. However, you can call people to action or you can end your speech with a thought that will remain with your audience for a long time and probably help them change their way of thinking. Tip number two is using a timer. If you can, time each section, your introduction, your body, and all the ideas, and the conclusion. This will give you a good idea of how long your speech is going to be. Tip number three is to focus on quality rather than quantity. Remember, it is always better to have a few well-developed points than to cram in too much information. First of all, your audience is probably not going to remember everything. So stick to the most important point and the points that are more impactful. The second part of the fear of time restrictions is the fear of going overboard, having too much to say. In a conference setting, being within time limits or the allotted time is very important because it could disrupt the flow of the whole conference. And it could also affect the other speakers as well as the audience. Again, for tip number one, timing is very important. Using a timing device like your smartphone, for example, time your speech after having written your whole speech. Say it out loud and practice as often as you need to make sure that you will be within time. You may think that, oh, because you have a two-page speech, that that will be within five minutes, for example, if you were given that time. However, I found in many occasions that when I was practicing my speech, I would often go over time even with only two pages. The reason is, very often we tend to struggle on our words, we have meaningless words like um and and, we have pauses that were not, ex that were not included in our original text. So you have to plan that in your delivery. So can you afford to make pauses? Can you afford to struggle to stumble on your words or some phrases? If that is the case, you need to edit your speech. Change the words that are more difficult to pronounce or the sentences that are too long. Only keep the essential information in your speech. Tip number three is using visual cues. I have mentioned this before in a previous video. I use those cue cards often. I think they're very effective and they help me stay on track. You don't need to memorize your whole speech. Those cue cards remind you what you're supposed to say and you can ad-lib or 
paraphrase everything without having the fear of forgetting your speech. Lastly, tip number four, at a large conference there will probably be somebody who will be in charge of letting you know that you have one or two minutes remaining in your allotted time. If that's the case, take advantage of that. If not, make sure you find somebody, one of the organizers for example, that can help you to, to let you know that you have two minutes left in your speech and then start wrapping your speech to finish within the time limit. Now, why is it so important to finish within time? Well, remember how much time you spent preparing for that speech, memorizing it, delivering it, trying to use voice variety, you're practicing your gestures and your and your eye contact with your audience. Well, all the other speakers have done the very same thing. So if your speech goes overboard, if it's a large conference, the next speaker may be asked to cut a part of his or her speech. If that's the case, that is quite rude, unprofessional, and unfair. So please, respect time limits. Also, speaking too long may bore your audience, especially if what you're saying does not have anything to do with your main message. You want to keep your audience engaged. Lastly, respecting the allotted time will help maintain the conference flow. So here you have it. By structuring your speech, practicing with a timer, focusing on brevity, and respecting the time limits, you can overcome the fear of time constraints and deliver effective, engaging speeches. Remember, preparation and awareness are key. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips on public speaking. See you next time.